so I have this single layer as my background. I'm gonna add a solid color adjustment layer, choose a nice blue here, and then hit OK. I will change the blending mode to soft light and I will rename the layer to shadows. As you can see, my whole image has a blue tone now, but I want to maintain this color only for the shadows. And here is the trick, I'm gonna right click on the layer, choose blending options, and then I have to look at the blend if section right here in this area. Let me explain a bit how this works for those of you who are new to the blend if option in Photoshop. As you can see, the first layer, the top layer, is the solid color layer. And then underneath is the background image with the model, which in this case is the underlying layer. With this default setting, the blue layer is applied on both shadows and highlights. I need to restrict it to be visible in the shadows only, so I'm gonna grab this slider and tell Photoshop to avoid applying this blue cast in the highlights. I'm gonna go with this slider to the left until I see a clear definition of the shadows. I have a forest or something like that blurred in the background. I have some dark areas in the water too. Her hair is also dark, but you can notice that her skin and clothes were not affected by the blue because they are bright. But I still have an issue, the blue parts are so harsh right now and to make this transition softer, I'm gonna hold down the Alt or Option on a Mac and split this highlight slider. And now you can see that the transition between the highlights and shadows is much softer than before. Alright, I will leave this layer like this and I'm gonna hit OK. I need to make a second solid color layer for the highlights. For this one I'm gonna choose a bright orange press OK and then I put this layer on soft light blending mode. Double click here and rename the layer to highlights and I'm gonna hide the blue layer for now because I want a clearer view of what I'm doing with the highlights layer. Right click on the orange layer, choose blending options and now I will drag the shadow slider to the right because I need to apply the orange only in the highlights. This seems to be a good spot here and I will split the slider by holding Alt or Option and bring it back to the left to make the blending softer. Press OK. And now I have two separate layers, one for the shadows and the other one for the highlights. I can select them holding down Ctrl or Command and make a group by pressing Ctrl G or Command G. Let's rename this group and call it Grading. And now, as you can probably see, the grading effect is way too exaggerated. So with the group selected, I will bring the opacity down to zero. I recommend you this method as well, otherwise you will be tempted to overdo the color toning. So from zero, I start to raise the opacity slowly and I stop somewhere around 45, 50%. I think the blue layer is a bit strong, so I will select it and lower the opacity on this one too. I will put in 50% and it looks better now. You can also change the colors of the layers anytime by double clicking on the colors here or if you want to experiment with different types of looks you can easily select the group, hit Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate it. You can now call it Grading 2. Hide the other group and simply double click on the colors in the new group to change them. So let's say I want to change the highlights color to a bright green and the shadows layer to a vibrant red. Maybe reduce the opacity of the group to a 35% and there you go, you have two different color grading results. You can choose which one to be visible here in the layers group and also you can check for before and after. I think this is a great result but I would like you to leave a comment below and write your opinion about this way of color grading. Do you like it more than other methods? 